good morning. It is currently 6.38 in the morning on a Saturday. I am on my way to a doctor's appointment uh, and then I'm going to be coming straight home. Uh, Sean said that he wants to go out and do something today. Uh, I'm not really sure what exactly we're getting into. I think we might go to the plant nursery. Um, we have this lo local nursery that grows a bunch of houseplants and like succulents and cactus and things like that. Uh, so we might go look and do that. Uh, sorry my brain is a little frazzled because it's very early on a Saturday morning. Uh, I was running a little bit late. Uh, I did not have time to do my hair, so I have my makeup on and I'm dressed, but my hair is wet and the ladies at the doctor's appointment, they're just going to have to deal with it. They're used to it though, so I'm not worried. Uh, I'm going to be there for a few hours, so I brought my Switch uh, so that I could play Animal Crossing. I picked up the Sanrio Animal Crossing Amiibo cards at my local Target yesterday. Uh, and I am trying to move in all of my favorite villagers. Uh, I think my goal for today is to get Chai moved in. Um, so figuring out who I'm going to swap her out with. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting because my island is full. But uh, she's just too cute not to. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do today. Uh, I might show a little bit of playing Animal Crossing. Um, but hopefully when I get home, Sean will be ready and we can go... Uh, out and do something because it's supposed to be a really pretty day. So I will check in with you guys probably after my doctor's appointment. I might check in during but it's a little weird the way that the um, center is set up. So I probably won't do a whole lot of filming there but anyway I will check in with you guys later. Okay so I just left my doctor's appointment. It's 9 20 now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx. I'm looking for a book bag. Um, my cousin and I, we took our dogs to the brewery last weekend, and she had like a little book bag that she carried all our dog stuff in, and I was wholly unprepared. Uh, so I thought that's a great idea to just have like a little book bag that you can carry everything in. So I want to go to TJ Maxx and see if maybe I can find like some little book bag that I could carry with us when we take the dogs out places. That way I'm not just fumbling around with a purse and then dog stuff and then everything like that. Um, so yeah, sorry, I'm really out of breath. Um... I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and look for that and then head to the house. Uh, I lied earlier. I thought it was going to be a nice day out. It is not. It is super gloomy outside and just really kind of yuck. But we'll still find something to get into today. It is Florida. The sun may come out at the end of the day today. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it rains. We'll see. Anyway, I am headed to TJ Maxx now. Uh, I might take you in with me. I'm still like a little iffy about filming when I'm by myself. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And um, if I do bring you, I'll check in with you there. And if not, I will check in with you when I get back to the car. Hello. I did not check in when I went to TJ Maxx. Uh, when I got there, there was a huge line out front, which was super unusual. And I couldn't really figure out why. So I didn't, like I said, I'm still like a little weird about filming in public. And with everybody standing outside, I got a little camera shy. It is what it is. Anyway, it is 4.20. Uh, it's 4.20 in the afternoon. Uh, we, I came home and picked up Sean and we went to the mall. Uh, we needed to pick up a few things. My birthday's coming up, so Sean wanted to get some ideas for birthday presents. But now we are home. I changed the bed sheets uh, and I figured I would do a little unboxing. I have a couple things. Uh, that I bought throughout the week that's just sat because I've been super busy uh, but I felt like now was a perfect time to open them and show you what I got. I'm gonna open the not as fun stuff first and leave the fun stuff for last. So I've got four packages. I have two from Amazon. We're actually trying to do away with shopping with Amazon uh, for a bunch of different reasons uh, but there were a couple things that I needed to pick up for the dog and for my camera so I went ahead and picked them up but I'll open those first and then we'll get to the fun stuff. So, first, I have, I hope that I don't show you my address. I just have carabiners. That is not what I thought was in here. So, I just have some silver carabiners. These are perfect for when I take the dog out in public places because I can clip her leash onto, this is just a little, just a little carabiner. I can clip her leash onto like a table or a chair or something like that. So I don't have to constantly have my hands on her. Um, so I got a set of two of those. I know, super exciting. And then my 
other box from Amazon is, it should be stuff for my camera if I remember correctly. This has sat for just a little while. So there's a possibility that I order something that I don't remember ordering. So it is two camera batteries, just because I want to have backup batteries for my camera. So it's two backup batteries and a charger. Super fun. And another SD card. So this is the one I talked to my dad. He's very techy, and he said that this is the best one for making videos. Uh, I want to start a knitting podcast uh, on another channel, and he said that these are really good for videos. Not that what I'm using isn't, but he said that this would be even better. So I bought that so that I would have it. And yeah, so that's the boring stuff. Uh, I have two more packages. Uh, they're both yarn and knitting related so if you like knitting if you like yarn like this is the haul for you one of them is actually my birthday present from my best friend back home uh, i'm from north carolina currently living in florida um so every year when we do like birthdays or holidays or anything like that we typically just ship things directly to each other so i'm trying to decide if i want to open this first yeah okay so this is the birthday present from ashley um she sent this a few days ago and she wanted me to open it but I told her I wanted to wait until I could open it on camera. And I work very long hours. So I didn't really have the time to open it and like give it the, the show it deserves. Uh, I already immediately recognize this packaging. So there is an Etsy store that dyes yarn. Uh, it's Wee Chickadee. Yeah, Wee Chickadee Wool Company on Etsy. She has the cutest yarn and the cutest packaging. Ashley is, I might not be able to get this open. Hang on. Ashley is their biggest fan and she actually actually introduced me to her yarn and I have a few skeins so if you see this little cube back here, this little cube, you can hear my cat's feet. Um, this little cube is full of yarn but I have a few of her skeins of yarn so she always packages it with like a little thing of tea so that is really sweet. And then a little note that says, yay yarn, enjoy, which like I always do. This will make perfect socks, I am sure. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. So this is what, I'm trying to get it to focus on the yarn and on me. This is what she got me. It is iridescence is the colorway and it's a fingering weight yarn. So it's 80% merino, 20% nylon, which is the perfect blend for socks because your socks won't fall apart because the nylon will hold it together. Oh, this is so cute. I love this blue color that's coming through. That, oh my gosh, it's perfect. Okay, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna have to text her, my phone is right here. I'm gonna have to text her. She is at a bachelorette party right now, so I'm sure she is super busy, but I will text her and thank her for that because it is beautiful. Okay, my last package, I am very very excited for uh this is a shop that i follow on instagram i have a knitting instagram i will link it down below for you to look at but i follow them on instagram and they always come out with the most beautiful handmade stitch markers and i've wanted some forever and i always miss her drops because they go so fast so today well i guess her last release i finally got some so the brand is hello lavender on instagram and I don't know if she's on any other social media. So if you open the box, it says Hello Lavender on it. That's so sweet. It's full of like little recyclable, recyclable like paper forms. My cat is right here. <laughs> so it com they come in a sweet little box. It's got her little logo. And I got two sets from her. So I think they're both in this box. You can see Delilah in the background. Oh, perfect. Okay. So the first set I got was little lobster claws. And they're a little like sock set with little tiny um, stitch markers to go with it. So I like to use these on socks so I can kind of visualize the pro progress that I'm making as I knit them. And I also got, I'm trying to flip it around so you can see it. I got 
this one if it'll look there we go so it's got like a pretty little branch and then three more just little pretty markers so these are the little o-rings so these are really good for like sweaters and things like that so if you are knitting a sweater where you have to have like different marks this is perfect and then it also shows you where the beginning of your round is so yeah these are i'll show them to you together one more time Oop, if i don't throw them so i have these guys from hello lavender and these are all handmade by her i just think they're so cute i'm so excited i am gonna use the sock ones with this yarn to make socks i am um, just finished a pair of socks not that long ago i think they're out in our living room but I'm kind of looking for a new pair to start. I always get in the habit of knitting one sock and then never knitting the second one. So I have quite a few socks that I have just one off socks, but I just can't help it. Like you get pretty yarn like this and you want to make socks out of this right now. So anyway, that is all that I have bought in the past. Well, I guess little bit the packages that I've gotten in the past week or so and I figured I would open them on camera uh, I am going now it is 427 uh, one of my good friends my little her name is Sam she is doing her first live stream on twitch uh, she actually just texted me so I'm going to turn this off and go watch her stream uh, I will link her her twitch profile down below uh, so that you can go support her too. If you're watching this, you will love her too. She's quirky. Uh, we're very similar. She knits. She's super into video games. Uh, she dyes yarn and that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just her biggest fan. She'll tell you that. I'm her, I'm her biggest fan. I call myself her mama bear. But anyway, I'm gonna log off. I'm gonna go watch that and I might check in with you a little later. Maybe I will like video watching her stream. I don't know. We'll see. But I will talk to you in just a little bit. Hi, so it is just a few minutes later. I am laying in bed. I have my laptop out. I'm trying to watch Sam's stream on Twitch. Um, but I kind of have run into a little bit of an issue. Both of my cats are in my lap trying to fight with each other right now. Hey, stop. Um, anyway, we kind of live out in the middle of nowhere and I love it. I love that we don't have neighbors and we don't have like a lot of loud noise at all um however one of the bad parts about living in the middle of nowhere is that your internet generally you don't have a lot of great options um and we do not so my internet is running a little slow i'm going to turn the camera around and show you um but the wheels are essentially just spinning i'm trying to watch um her stream and the internet is just not cooperating with me so yeah anyway I'm trying. I promise that I'm trying to watch this. I'm super bummed that I'm missing it right now. So I'm trying to watch and it'll play for like a second and then buffer for five minutes. Also, that's her stream name. If you're looking for her, um, I'm here with Olive, um, Delilah. Delilah is that little black cat on the other side of the computer screen. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to watch, but it's not working, but we're going to keep trying and seeing if we can make it work. Right, Olive? Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, so today is Sunday. Um, it's pretty late in the morning. Uh, Sean and I were kind of just lazy this morning in bed. We were laying in bed watching Shit's Creek for a little bit, and then Sean decided to take June on a walk. That is our dog. Um, so I figured while he was gone, it would be a perfect time for me to do my makeup and do my hair and kind of just get ready for the day. I kind of thought um, that while I was getting ready for the day I still have from yesterday all my stitch markers laying here but I figured this would be a good time to kind of talk about my intentions uh, for my channel if you're watching this you obviously know that this is my first video and I just kind of wanted to touch on why I wanted to do this um, and what kind of made me decide to buy a camera and get started I will preface this by saying while I do my makeup I am not a makeup artist you guys are probably gonna think that I'm crazy I use my hands for a lot of stuff. I use small little sample sizes of makeup. It just is what it is. Please don't come for me in the comments. I'm just putting on like makeup so I have a face for the day. So uh, I use the Dream BB Pure from Maybelline. Um, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not going to tell you guys everything that I'm using. Um, but 
Uh, as for my intentions with this channel, uh, I have been watching YouTube videos for years. Um, sorry, my mirror is right here. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos for years and I love watching people vlog. Uh, I just think it's so interesting to watch people do like their everyday stuff. And like that has always been super fascinating to me. Um, but I have found that the older I get, uh, I turned 26 in just a couple weeks. Um, I have found that the older that I get, um, the less relatable content for me that I can find. Um, I like to watch people who are like in their early to mid 20s just like living their life. But I found that there is like a big gap um, of people who kind of just are like me. So I work a full time job. Uh, I'm married. Uh, I don't have kids. Um, and I just kind of feel like a lot of the people that I watch and now I like to watch them, but they just don't feel very relatable to me and what I have going on in my life. Uh, and I've talked to some of my friends and they kind of feel the same way. Like they just feel like there's a lack of content for people who are like them who are going through what they're going through. And so I felt like what a great opportunity to kind of try to fill that gap um, for what people are looking for. Um, so my phone is going off. Um, I kind of feel like um, there's something there that I can contribute to and I feel like this is a really fun way uh, to kind of I don't know bridge the gap show people my life and what's going on and then also like this is just something that I've always wanted to do and this is like a good time to do it it's 2021 we've been in lockdown for a year and it just is a good time to branch out and do what you've always wanted to do you know so I hope that that really resonates with you if not that's okay I totally understand let me know in the comments uh if there is anything that you would like to see uh content wise from a 26 year old married woman who is just living her life i am more than willing to try to accommodate um obviously you kind of got from yesterday things that i really like to do uh that i hope to share more of on this channel uh, are things like crafting and knitting and hanging out with my cats and my dog and my husband um Sean is not super public, like he doesn't like to share a lot of his personal life on the internet. And so you probably will see him, but not very often, just because I want to respect that boundary. But I'm sure that you'll see him every now and then. Um, I kind of feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Um, I'm putting on like a super quick face of makeup today. Obviously, like I said, I'm not a beauty guru by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm just putting on something to make me feel just kind of alive. Um, I'm gonna do my eyes. When I do my eyes, I don't really talk, so I'm probably gonna fast forward you through that, but I will catch you on the other side with eyeshadow on. This, I feel like, is about as good as it gets. I have a lip balm. So I got this in a FabFitFun box, uh, I think last season. It's kind of gross now. It's like, you can't really tell. There we go. It's like three colors. Because we wear masks anytime we go out in public and no one can really see my lips anyway. I was just going to put this on. So that I feel like my face is done. Uh, yeah, this lighting is not doing me any justice. Um, I didn't put on like a full face. I literally used BB cream. 
and then like blush highlighter or eyeshadow I didn't bronze or anything like that um typically I don't like to unless I'm going somewhere that requires a little bit more dressing up just because that's not who I am uh, I'm gonna do my hair now I am gonna kind of fast forward through that because I have uh, my air wrap which I use for everything uh, but it's very loud so it's totally useless uh, for me to try to talk to you or anything like that so I am going to get this plugged in um, get my hair brushed and then I will be back uh, to do my hair and then we'll see what we get into today so I will be right back is probably as good as it is going to get for now. Say hi dude. So Sean just got back from his walk with June right when I was finishing my hair. Um, I kind of made a little bit of a mess. You can kind of see this is what it looks like. This is my stuff from yesterday because I did not clean any of it up when I was done with it. So but it's fine. So now I've got to straighten up. I've got to clean up all this mess from yesterday. I have like the yarn wrapping and packaging, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that and get changed. I have this new dress that I got from Mod Cloth. It came in this week uh, that I'm probably gonna wear today. Are we going anywhere today? Are we gonna take June to like Lowe's or something? Probably not. She seems kind of out of it. So what are we gonna go do? We don't really have a reason to go to Lowe's. I just wanted to go there because we could take June. <laughs> I don't know what we're getting into. We're going to get into something and go do that. So I guess I guess I'll check in when we figure out what that's going to be. So Okay, so it's a little later. We went to the flea market and we went to the craft store and we came to Lowe's. But it was really busy and really crowded. So I didn't really want to get my camera out, but I got... This cute little succulent, it's called a key lime pie succulent. I've seen them on Etsy and I've wanted one but I never really bit the, bit the bullet? Is that what it's, is that what it is? Pulled the trigger, I never pulled the trigger on buying one, that's what it is. So I never pulled the trigger on buying one but then I saw them today for $4 at Lowe's. So I bought one and I'm gonna take it home. I don't have a pot for, for it right now. But in the next few days I guess I'll stop somewhere and buy a pot and I do have potting soil at the house so that's not an issue uh, but I think we're going back to the flea market to buy something that Sean saw that he wanted and then we're gonna go home and I think I'm just gonna play the sims because it's about to start raining and that just seems like the cozy thing to do so does anyone else immediately get home from whatever you're doing and change out of whatever clothes you're in to comfortable clothes or is it just me We've been home maybe 10 minutes. I already have my t-shirt, leggings. Um, it's about to storm. I don't know if you can tell from, you cannot. It's very dark outside. So, but, oh, focus on me. So now we're just gonna be lazy, right June? I'm probably gonna try to figure out how to edit this video uh, because I am not super well versed in video editing so i'm probably gonna work on that for a little bit june is here to hang out sean is opening car parts that came in the mail today for this truck that he is working on uh but yeah i don't think that we're really gonna do anything exciting for the next little bit uh, i'm gonna listen to the rain hopefully our internet works um anytime it's cloudy or it rains 
our internet goes out. So we'll see. I'm going to try to watch TV until that point. My cat is coming in here. But anyway, that is all to report right now. We're going to be cozy and leggings and a t-shirt and work on some computer stuff. Say hi, June. She's so sweet. So as I'm laying here editing this video, I am realizing things that I've never noticed because I've never looked at it on camera before. Uh, I typically don't wear makeup during the week. I work in healthcare. Um, I'm up super early in the morning to get ready to go to work, so it's not something that I've ever really worried about. And then when we go out places during the weekend, I always have a mask on. We don't really go out to eat or anything like that. So I've never noticed it. But now that I'm watching on video, I'm going to have to do some research and to figure out how to kind of like keep my makeup from transferring off because I'm noticing that the longer I wear my makeup and like take my mask on and off, I'm noticing like hair is getting really rubbed dry. So like it's coming across as like my makeup is rubbed off. So it's like a weird color and like it's coming off patchy. I don't know. It's really bizarre. So I'm going to have to look into that. That's something I've never noticed, but I guess it's just something new that you figure out when you start filming your life every day um but yeah so I have sort of figured out how to edit this video obviously if you're watching up to this point you've already seen kind of some of the editing that I've done um but to be honest with you I'm feeling pretty confident about what I have accomplished thus far um I'm texting with my friend Kayla right now she is the best type girl everyone needs a Kayla in their life I'm telling her about my video and everything that I want to do and she's just being so supportive and super sweet like she is always so Kayla I know that you're watching this I love you and I appreciate you uh, I'm gonna text you back right now uh, and maybe also Google how to stop my makeup from transferring onto my mask can we just talk about how cute this yarn is that Ashley sent me I kicked it up I'm gonna make some socks um I think I'm gonna end my vlog here um I think for the rest of the day I'm pretty much gonna be watching TV working on these socks uh, and I've got to do some laundry and get ready for work tomorrow um, and I really like I don't want to drag you guys long on all the mundane stuff so I think I'm gonna end this here uh, leave a like or a comment uh, subscribe if you want to I'm hoping that these videos are going to come out weekly I'm probably just gonna try to do like weekend vlogs I might post more frequently if I have anything to post uh, but to be honest with you with my work schedule and everything that's been going on in life I think that weekends realistically are gonna be the easiest option for me um, keep an eye out uh, I hope to get my knitting podcast up and running here soon uh, and I will make sure that I link that um, along with all my socials down below like my Instagram my Twitter that's really all that I have but I'll put it down below um, for you guys to kind of keep up with what I'm doing and I will talk to you next time bye